Uh, I love art for a lot of reasons. I like, for one, it's just really satisfying and really relaxing for me. If I'm having a really stressful day, I like to sit down and take a break and do art. It uses a different kind of part of my brain. You have to think about different things and it's just very good for stress relief. relief. I joke, people are always like, oh, how do you have so much time for art? And I'm like, no, you don't understand. The amount of art I'm doing does not correlate with how much time I have. It correlates with what else is going on and how stressed I am. I started drawing when I was really little. My grandma is an art teacher. Uh, my mom has a small business selling art and so I've always been like surrounded with it growing up. Um, I did it a lot in school. Um, I had art classes every year and then I kind of stopped when I came to college just because it takes a lot of time and I was busy doing other things and I honestly just like kind of forgot about it um, until last Christmas. Um, I was at home hanging out and I was bored so I was just drawing and then I kind of remembered how much I loved it um, and picked it back up again but it's kind of been something that I've done off and on for years. This is the first, this is kind of my favorite I guess style of drawing to do. I did this because I was bored and I didn't know what to draw and then I draw it and I thought to myself hmm that looks boring. Um, so then I added the black backgrounds and I discovered that I really liked that. I really liked the contrast. Since then I have done a whole, I mean I had probably 20 of these um, of just various I've done some fall ones. I really like my little ghosts. I think they're cute. Selling and publicizing my art has been kind of challenging. I have an Instagram page. My issue with that is that it's very dependent on the algorithm. I'm not good at Instagram and I don't know what I'm doing. And then also I don't want to spend all my time on social media. Like I deleted Instagram off my phone specifically so I wouldn't spend as much time on it. And then a lot of the ways you can sell them online are either really hard high maintenance or they're going to charge a fee. And so it's been kind of difficult trying to figure out what the best method for selling my art is. And I love like when other people get to see it, uh, when other people get excited about it because it's a way to make people smile by doing something that you find fun uh, and enjoyable. And I think it's just a skill that translates to more other things than you would think. And so it's cool to see how it affects like all the areas.